Today's lesson is on what is rap and hip hop? For this lesson, you must follow the PowerPoints and complete the tasks given throughout. These tasks can be completed in your booklets that were given to you at the beginning of this term. If you haven't got a booklet, do not worry. I've uploaded all of the resources onto Show My Homework. So if you haven't got your booklet, I need you to go and get it now. And if you haven't got one, I need you to go on to Show My Homework and to download a copy. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to describe in your own words what rap and hip hop are. You will have developed your knowledge of key terminology used in rap and hip hop. And you will also have developed your music listening skills. I will be available throughout these lessons via email to answer any questions that you may have. So please do not hesitate in asking me for help if you need any help. All of the lesson resources have been uploaded to show my homework. So if you haven't done so already, I would like you to want to show my homework and have a look at what I have set. If there's anything you don't understand, again, please write down your questions and email them to me. I will be here to help you. Do now activity 1.1. I would like you to answer the following questions. Number one, what is note addition? Number two, what is an ostinato? Number three, what note is used in the treble clef on the bottom line of the stave? And number four, what note is used in the bass clef on the bottom line of the stave? Please pause the video now. I would now like you to go and get a different colour pen and to either give yourself a tick if you've got the answer correct or to add in any information if you've missed any information or got the answer incorrect. So what is note addition? Note addition is where you add notes to a repeating phrase. It could be as small as making one change where you just add one note each time. Number two, what is an ostinato? An ostinato is a repeating musical phrase or rhythm. Number three, one note is used in the treble clef on the bottom line of the stave. It's an E. Remember, on the bottom line. And number four, what note is used in the bass clef on the bottom line of the stave? It's a G. Remember, on the bottom line. Please pause the video now. Activity 1.2. I would like you to match the keywords with the definitions. The keywords are bass line, hook, dynamics, tempo, and stanza. And the definitions are a catchy, repetitive musical phrase that attracts the listener to the song, the volume of an instrument or piece of music, for example, forte and piano. The speed of an instrument or piece of music, for example, allegro or adagio. A group of lines forming the basic recurring metrical unit in a poem, a verse. Or the lowest part or sequence of notes in a piece of music. Please pause the video now. Using a different colour pen, I would now like you to either give yourself a tick if you've got the answer correct, or if you've got anything incorrect, I would like you to correct your answer. Please pause the video now. Activity 1.4. What is rap and hip hop? I would like you to watch a video on the history of rap and hip hop. Write down anything that is interesting to you. Remember, this could be anything that you feel is interesting. There is no right or wrong answer. I want to see what interests you about rap and hip hop. I have attached this link here to show my homework. Please pause the video now. Activity 1.5, Information Finder. Using the information from page 5 and the video from Activity 1.4, I want you to define what rap and hip hop are. I would like you to write your answers on the lines provided in your booklet. Please pause the video now. Here are the answers. Using a different colour pen, I would like you to either give yourself a tick if you've got it correct, or if you are missing anything, I would like you to add in the information. Rap music is a combination of rhyming and poetry to a beat. It is part of the hip hop genre, which involves lyrics over a fast paced music. Rap focuses more on the here and now discussing issues 
such as popular culture and politics. Hip hop can be described as a way of life and a subculture. Hip hop is an upbeat music style. It pairs lyrics with fast paced music and discusses common relationship issues. Both genres make use of various instruments, the most common instruments being turntables, electronic drums, orchestral instruments, virtual instruments, vocals, synthesizers, and samplers. Please pause the video now. Activity 1.6, listening task. To listen to this piece of music, I have attached the link to show my homework. So I would like you to listen to this piece of music and write about the following information. I would like you to write down the instruments being used, the dynamics being used, and I would like you to write down what you feel is the mood of the lyrics. As you answer the mood of the lyrics, I would also like you to explain why you feel it's the mood. For example, if you feel it's a happy piece of music, maybe it's because the lyrics that they are using are talking about happy themes. Please pause the video now. Using a different colour pen, I would now like you to give yourself a tick if you've got the answer correct, or if you've got it incorrect or missing information, I would like you to add in this information. So the instruments being used are the electric guitar, synthesizer, violin, viola, cello, drum machine, and vocals. The dynamics being used are mezzo piano to fortissimo, which means it starts off quite quiet and it goes all the way through to being very loud. The mood of the lyrics. It's a serious mood talking about problems that the world was facing at the time and still is at present. They include racism, gang crime, and many other themes. The line, where is the love? Is powerful and gets the message across to the listeners. Please pause your video now. Activity 1.7. Match the artist. What I need you to do is I need you to match the rap and hip hop artists with their names. You have three pictures here and you have three of their names. I want you to match them using lines. And as a challenge, can you name any more artists? You'll go over these answers during our next seminar. Please pause the video now. Here are the answers. Using a different colour pen, I would like you to either give yourself a tick if you've got it correct, or if you've got it incorrect, I would like you to correct your answer. Please pause the video now. Activity 1.8, the plenary. I would like you to write down two things that you thought you did well in today's lesson, and one thing that you thought you could do even better. As a challenge, can you name some more rap and hip hop artists? You can do this by adding on to the list from Activity 1.7 under the challenges section. Please pause the video now. I now need you to upload your work onto Share My Homework. You can do this by